Hello, this is Dr. William Neal, dentist, periodontist extraordinaire in Wichita Falls, Texas. Our lesson today is dental anatomy. And why would we want to know dental anatomy? Well, because everything in your life begins on your nose, it's right in your, in your mouth, the air that you breathe in and out, the food that goes in, the bacteria that grow, even the words that come out of your mouth, it's right in your nose and it has huge impact on your overall health and happiness. So here's a lesson on dental anatomy that maybe you would be, you'd find uh, relevant and helpful. So if I took a cross section of my lower jaw tooth like this and look at it as a schematic, this might represent one side of the tooth, say the cheek side, and this would be the tongue side. So you have a skin layer on the gum, this red area. Below that's connected tissue that has blood vessel, nerve, and muscle. The jawbone is that yellow structure there, and you can see the tooth root fits in the jawbone socket like a nail in a piece of wood. The weird thing is, the root surface never touches the jawbone socket wall because it's suspended with little fibers. And that gives you rigidity on the tooth so you can bite and chew with the tooth. Um, if you're like most people, when you wake up in the morning, you feel like you have fuzz on the teeth. And that's the bacteria that live in your saliva because your mouth is a wonderful place for bacteria to grow. Uh, it's always wet, it's always warm, there's always a little bit of food residue there. So where your mouth is stagnant because you're asleep, the bacteria are going to settle on the tooth and the skin surface and form that biofilm slime layer. And if you do no effort at cleaning that off, a lot of that is self-cleansing. You know, the skin outside your mouth is self-cleansing with dandruff, sweat, and oil. In your mouth, it's self-cleansing with dandruff and mucus and saliva. So there's absolutely no reason to, to uh, clean the skin, or the gum in your mouth. Uh, the biofilm forms from the tooth, but you polish that off uh, when you wake up. Uh, uh, you polish that off when you chew food, your lip and tongue rub against that tooth surface all day long. So every surface you see in your mouth or touch with your tongue is theoretically a clean, self-cleansing surface. So the only place it's not self-cleansing is happens to be on the tooth but below the gum line. Notice the gum anatomy goes up toward the top of the tooth, down toward the, then down toward the root, but it actually seals on the tooth. And so this is the only place I want you to try to clean. Because if you don't, over time, these bacteria that hide here, this is a green slime area that covers everything. The uh, bacteria will ooch down the root and just destroy the little fibers as time goes by, and that's how you lose the tooth because the pyrrhea is because of the lo lack of that fiber connection between the root and the jawbone socket. So there you have it. Uh, that's what gum anatomy looks like, and everything springs from there. We're going to cover how to clean that, why it's important, what kind of bacteria grow, why, how does your bite have uh, anything to do with the, um, with the, uh, the health of the mouth, so for more information, look on our, web, on our YouTube channel, website, and Facebook. If you have questions, well, give me a call. I'm at 940-322-0758. Uh, give us a like, share it, and subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching. God bless you. Stay safe, and looking forward to hearing from you soon.